If you're using the screen share feature to share your slides during a Zoom presentation, you need to stop it right now. This is killing your engagement. The moment that you press this button, people are just ready to get bored. It's like announcing that something boring is coming up. So there is a better way to use slides in your Zoom presentations that I'm going to show you now. How you can use the slides to boost your engagement, to boost your confidence, and boost the level of production that you will deliver to your audience. My name is Felipe and I help hundreds of presenters create truly unique virtual audience experiences that they can run entirely by themselves. And I'm going to show you exactly what works for us, what gets the audience hooked, what gets us confident to present, and what makes the biggest impact when it comes to do a slideshow presentation. Picture this, you arrive at a Zoom presentation and you are excited to hear the topic that the presenter is going to bring up. They have a really nice camera, they have a nice set and you are excited. And minutes in, they share the screen. So they shrink down to the corner of the screen and these big slides appear and you can barely see them. You cannot connect with them anymore. You cannot pay attention to them anymore. You have to look to these big slides after slides, after slides, after slides for a whole hour. Look, there is nothing worse than having this experience. And if you are doing workshop presentations, sales meetings, or anything where you want to drive the audience's attention, you want to conduct them, you want to drive their ideas, you need them to be engaged, to feel excited to hear what you have to say, to be able to learn what you are teaching. And using the screen share and being the corner of the screen and talking for a whole hour like that is not the way that will work. And let me tell you this, when it's on your side, when you are presenting and you share your screen, the audience goes away. You cannot see the audience anymore. So you are left to be talking to the wall. You just need to trust that people are there or just pretending to be talking to people, but you cannot see them. You cannot see their reactions. You cannot read them. You cannot connect with them. So when you're doing a slideshow presentation using the screen share, the connection breaks both ways. The audience cannot connect with you and you cannot connect with the audience. And I know that this is something that might be in your day to day already because the way of sharing screen to show your slides is the way that everyone has been doing this entire time. No one is doing differently, actually. Everyone is sharing these lights big on screen, shrinking their camera to the corner and talking for a whole hour like that without seeing the audience and the audience without seeing them. But it doesn't have to be this way. What if I told you that you can have these lights to support your message. And every time that you use this light, this is actually going to boost your engagement with your audience. This is actually going to get them more excited and following the content that you have to share more closely. What if I told you that using these lights is something that could feel magical to the audience? And this could be exactly the thing that drives them into your presentation, this is what we're going to see today. Different ways to use slideshow presentations on Zoom that takes you to a whole new level of connection with the audience, of engagement and of quality of production that you're going to be able to deliver to your audience now. So how this is going to work? In order for you to stop using screen share, you need it on the way to share your slides. We are going to be using a production tool that will allow us to incorporate the slides into our camera. So we can design exactly what we want people to see, how we want people to see these slides, how big we are on screen while the slides are showing, the slides are going to support your message and appear on screen exactly at the moment that you want. Without shrinking you down to the corner of the screen, no, you have full control over it because you will be using a production tool to do that, to control exactly what people see when they are looking to your camera on Zoom. And the production tool that we are going to be using is called OBS Studio. This is a free tool that allows you to design what people are seeing when you are on Zoom live. And this is usually used by streamers for gamers and people that are on Twitch. And very few people are using that on Zoom. There's so much that you can do to take presentations to a whole other level of professionalism when you are using a production tool such as OBS. And OBS is the best and most flexible tool that you will find in the market. The things that it can do, no other tool can because it's open source and there is a gigantic community of 
developers that are constantly contributing to improve the software and create new plugins and add new capabilities to the software. It's great a scene where you have OBS Studio showing the slides exactly how you want on Zoom. It's pretty simple. You just open up OBS, you add your camera, and then you create a new scene with your camera and the capture of your slideshow presentation app. So it's a screen share inside of OBS that you can position, resize, and organize it exactly how you want. And just by doing that, you already are improving your presentation delivery a lot because now you have two scenes that you can switch and show on Zoom while you are switching that will show your camera and will show your slides with your big on screen. And to complete, you add a string deck to the mix and whenever you press a button, the scene is going to be changed and you're going to be showing your slides. You press another button and you will be just with your camera. So you can share your slides exactly when you want. And this is what people don't realize. In front of me, I have two monitors, one with my slides, another one with Zoom, and I can see my slides the entire time. But the audience can only see the slides when I want, when I press a button on my stream deck, which, by the way, you can have as a physical device like this one, or you can transform your phone into a deck of buttons with the Stream Deck app that you can use to control your presentations live so that you don't get distracted clicking on the mouse, switching tabs or pressing to share screen, Not, nothing like that. One press of a button and you will be switching the scene on OBS and showing these lights to the audience in this very new cool way. The thing that I like to do though is instead of using horizontal slides, the regular size of the slides, I like to use slides that are 1350 by 1080. And this is a smaller slides, the size of an Instagram carousel or an Instagram post. And the reason why I like these slides so much is because they don't fit much information. They only fit very few information, which is exactly what I need. If I want these slides to support myself, I don't want to drop a lot of text on it for people to be reading. I want it to be concise. I want the message to be to the point and to drive an idea home and not compete with me in attention and leave the audience without knowing if they should be paying attention to me or read a bunch of text that is on my slides. I fix that by making the slide shorter and because of that, I also am able to create something very cool, which is instead of having a picture in picture camera of myself with the slides, I have the slides coming to my scenario and it just integrates with my own camera because the slides are smaller and they fit this corner of the screen just like that. This is something that increases the production, the level of production tremendously. So using smaller slides and combining these with a more concise message and integrating these immersively into your own camera creates a tremendous connection with the audience. One thing that you can do to step it up even more is use my favorite OBS plugin to create an animation when the slides come in. So they are not just fading, but they are sliding into the screen. This is the move transition. And I'm going to teach you everything about how to use the move transition, how to control the slides without looking like you're controlling anything because I'm actually I'm actually using the Stream Deck pedal to control the slides. So I press the button, the slides come on. I press the button, the slides come off. And it just looks like someone is controlling them for me, but this is not the case. I'm controlling them using the Stream Deck pedal. And I'm going to teach you everything that you need to know about controlling slides and controlling your presentation and feeling connection with the audience and creating this level of animations and this level of production in my masterclass that is coming up pretty soon. This is gonna be a free masterclass that will transform your virtual presentations into truly unique virtual audience experiences. You don't wanna miss it. It's gonna happen in just a few weeks or days, depending on when you're watching this video. So go to the link in the description and sign up to it right now so you don't miss it. I'll see you there.